This program is sponsored by Bet's Gold Coin. Join us for family friendly dining. Hello and welcome to the special edition, the special Halloween edition of the What's Up Mariposa show. My name is Sabine Jordan Lott and I'm your host today and I'm here with my beautiful co-host Marina Fisher. Hi Marina, how are you today? Hi Sabine, thank you. I'm well. I'm, I'm well, thank I'm you. I'm so happy you're here with me today. Thank you very much. Aww. You look awesome. Thank you. It is Halloween, you know. That's right. Exactly. Yeah. Might as well get in the spirit That's of things. That's right. That's right. So we have a lot of events and activities going on this week and this weekend so we might as well launch into it we starting with today october 28th uh wednesday october 28th which of course is the farmer's market day and for those people who don't know marina fisher she is the director and manager of the mariposa certified farmer's market and today unfortunately i'm heartbroken is the last day of the market it is the last day, so it's your last time to come by and buy good fruits and veggies here from Mariposa. Local farmers, get them out of Mariposa and also Merced and as far away as Stanislaus County. So come on out, come see us, uh, say hi. And hopefully you were there last week when we had our um, customer appreciation night. It was really well attended. I was really sorry to have missed Aww. it last week. I was bogged down with work. Uh. so. Lots of good snacks. <laughs> People brought lots of great things. So come on out. It's come always wonderful. Us. And I'm, I don't know what I'm going to do without with the farmer's I market. Know, Where am I going to go know. for all that fresh well, produce? Know, uh, here, let me give a punch here. Um, at Woodland, they're trying to do a farmer's market. It's slow uh, but steady. And maybe some of our people might try to move that way during the winter months. That's we'll right, they've been happens. doing a flea market there they Thursday, have. Friday, and Saturday, I believe, so, right? So long mm -hmm. as he doesn't step on my toes, we're happy. <laughs> <laughs> like to see our guys do well, all of our farmers. That would be and, nice if they and had And serve some. our community as well, so yes. That would be wonderful if they could have some farmer's market type items at that flea market. It would, it would. I They're would like trying, very much. so let's, let's wish them well. So I have not actually got confirmation of this, but today is supposed to be the third installment of the SLAM Poetry and Spoken work, word Workshop for Youth, 13 through 19 at Ethos Mariposa from 5.30 to 7 p.m. And like I said, I haven't received confirmation, so I'm not sure if that's actually happening or not. And uh, then, I don't know, have you heard about the new Grizzly Theater? I have not. Yeah, there's a new, the Feast Auditorium has this new uh, big, massive 20 foot HD TV. And they've been doing these movies. Like they had uh, Back really? to the Future Night the other night, where they showed all the Back to the Future movies. Oh my and goodness. tomorrow, October 29th, at, from 6 to 8 p.m., they're going to be showing Ghostbusters. Oh, that should be fun. That and be um, the tickets are $5. And if you bring two cans of food, uh, you can get in for $3. And the money is all going towards the Mariposa. A County High School Drama Club. That's wonderful. That's the Drama Club is very cool. I'm glad to see and, that. And uh, so the day before Halloween, they always do this big Mariposa zombie crawl. Have you done that? I have. Yes, you have. <laughs> oh, so tell have. us about that. Oh uh, well, they do it. I think it's the Mariposa Martial Arts. That's who, right. Who uh -huh. Started it, and I think I was doing the very first one with them. And uh, we actually had some professional makeup artists who came oh, up and amazing. made us all up. And it was most excellent all over town. It wasn't the big thing that it is now. Uh, mm -hmm, more mm -hmm. quiet. I'm so glad to see people do it. Hope you get out there and have a great time with that. That's fun. You know, I got the perfect outfit <laughs> for it. <laughs> I have a whole wardrobe, Halloween <laughs> wardrobe. I'm ready to go. So that's awesome. Oh. And I saw pictures of the of last year's um, zombie crawl. It was amazing. And these kids were made up. Yes, and they were all adults. And they were in these great fun. poses. And well, we're lucky impressive. enough that we have friends. Mm -hmm. who uh, are with this and who do professional makeup. Yes. So when they can, they help. And they were talking about having a makeup booth there at the location for those people who don't have, do their own makeup right. or know how to do their own makeup. So that's a nice service to offer for the zombie crawl. That's cool. So that's on the 30th. And then we have a very special event on the 30th, which is at the Stumble Inn Yosemite Ale Works because it's Michael Hall's birthday. Oh. Yeah. So he's going to be performing his songs from 7 to 8. And then there's Honky Tonk with Danny Millsap Band 
from 8 to 11 p.m. Wonderful. That's, That's going to be, be great. And this is the day that actually my in-laws are arriving from England. Oh. And so we're going to be taking them to the zombie crawl and to see some honky-tonk. I mean, when is someone from the U.K. going to get to enjoy some country music or well, some honky true. music. How fun. Yeah, that's going to be great. And then Friday night there is a trivia at Miners. Sign up starts at 8, trivia starts at 9, and there's karaoke at the Hitching Post, which I understand is very popular, and they say it, it goes from 9 p.m. to like 1, sometimes 2 a.m. <laughs> even. <laughs> Crazy. Do you do karaoke? You know, I actually love to sing. I haven't gone here. I'd like to do it. We should go to karaoke some night. I would love that. that Let's do fun. it. Go, out, go on a little fun. double date or something. There we are. There we are. <laughs> so Halloween, big Halloween. day. I mean, can you believe it? I think every single place in town has something going on, a costume party or a band or a DJ or oh, something nice. going on, and prizes for best costume. So I think we might have to, we might have to go and stop it everywhere. Everywhere. Everywhere in Little Mariposa, all it's those a, it's fun a little things bit are happening. Like, like New Year's Eve, I was telling Jonathan, my husband, and I said, "Well, we should do the like we do the New Year's Eve pub crawl, you know, yeah. oh. because there's a band, at least one, if not three bands, playing at every place on New Year's. Yeah, and I mean, Halloween looks to be about the same. It so does. It should be a good day to do a pub crawl. Isn't it wonderful <laughs> to be from a town like this? I love it. And it starts, Halloween starts with the Bootcheck Volunteer Fire Department all-you-can-eat pancake breakfast for $5. Yay. And we live very close to the Bootcheck Firehouse, and we always go to this. I love going to this. You run into all your neighbors and all your friends, and it's for a great cause. And, uh, you know, the last time we went, they, I think they have it quarterly. Uh, it was so packed. There were so many people there. We couldn't even get a seat. We had to wait. Really? It was unbelievable. Uh -huh. I have never seen so many people at the Bootcheck Pancake Breakfast as there were last time. So I'm, I'm really happy about that, though. I just... You know, um, supporting our heroes. We have so many of these little fire departments mm -hmm. scattered around Mariposa. And when they do these events, and you said, you see your family and your friends, you know, people that you don't see around town all the time. And they always come out for these events. It's wonderful to have. Exactly. Yeah. It's really nice. You really see the neighbors that don't go to maybe some of the more, you know, the, that's the entertainment events. They come out for the pancake breakfast. <laughs> so that's, that's great. true. So they show anytime between four and eight Mariposa Hollowed House. In the beginning, a creation walkthrough experience, a 12 minute walk through event where the church dresses up and reveals some biblical event and stunning interactive 3D. 12th Street near Happy Burger. That should be fun yeah, and interesting. Yeah, they do this every year, apparently. Sounds in interesting it and sound educational. Interesting. Well, I think so many people get the mis idea that Halloween is all about scary and, yes. you know, there's nothing wrong with mm -hmm. it. In fact, I advised somebody to go. They had three sons, and I said, dress them as the three wise men. Aww. And they won. <laughs> That's a great I idea. I thought it was great. Yeah, that sounds like fun. There's also a Mariposa Haunted House from 4 to 8 p.m., and that's at the Mariposa Martial Arts Academy. Don't they do the funnest things they there? They do. They are They're the ones organizing the zombie crawl. They're the ones doing the haunted house. Pretty amazing. They always do such good family things. I love that. Mm -hmm. Love that event. And so then we have the Mariposa Safe Families second annual trunk or treat, oh, which is true. at the Mariposa County Courthouse. And I believe you might have some yeah, details actually, about that. Yeah, I do. Uh, yeah, tr trunk or treat event at the Mariposa County Courthouse, October 31st, 4.30 to 7. There will also be a contest for best decorated trunk voted on by community members. So come out and join the fun brought to you by Mariposa Safe Families. Decorated trunks. I think that's so fun. <laughs> yeah, that makes Mariposa just a little bit different, too. Yes, you're so right. Very nice. And then I only just found out that the Soul Galaxy with Tim Hager and John Kidd will be Aww. playing at the Grove in Awani. Oh, my goodness. And apparently there are other things happening there also, like hay rides and games and candy and activities for kids. And um, that starts at 4, 4, 4 to 9 p.m. and Soul Galaxy plays from 6 to 9 p.m. Oh, won't that be fun? And then, of course, you brought up the Halloween party at the Stumble Inn at the Ale Works. That starts at 7. That's right, and they're also doing a costume contest there. Of course. And then there's another costume contest and Halloween party at the uh, Roadhouse 140, Miners Roadhouse 140. 
and Yosemite Bug annual Halloween party with Mountain String Band, Cherry Pickers, and the Mana Fire Dancers. <gasps> They are so they good. They are so incredible. It's That's going to be a good one. <laughs> That's going to be in the Bodhi room. It's going to be super oh, well attended, I'm wonderful. sure. Wonderful. That's probably the biggest Halloween party we got going on in town. Oh. And the fire dancers. Oh, gosh. Oh, yes. They're the fantastic. fire dancers are fantastic. Yeah. So that's that's exciting. And then there's a, contu a costume contest and karaoke at the airport bar and grill. I mean, we are just going to be... <laughs> What are we going to do? Yeah, well, hopefully we won't keep our local sheriff's department <laughs> busy that day. <laughs> Maybe everything will go really wonderful and everybody will have a great time and be safe. You bet that's exactly what's yeah. going to happen. Yeah. 8.30ish, <laughs> a Halloween party and costume contest, uh, contest, live music by Nathan Ignacio at the Gold Coin. Oh, yes, he's quite excellent. He's played there uh, several times before. Aww. He's like a one-man band. He's really? He's really something. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, we frequently frequent the Gold Coin. I have never been there on a night when they're doing music. We have oh, you're to kidding. Do, yeah. Oh, we always go when there's music. <laughs> Well, we often, uh, my husband and friends and I, after our farmer's market, we will end up there for a mm -hmm. little dinner. That's a good place to end up after and the farmer's market. It is, market. absolutely. It's very nice. Sometimes we run into our vendors there as well. It's so. really nice because you go in there and you can have your dinner, and at the same time there's entertainment, and, and it's another place where you run into a lot of friends it and is. neighbors. It is, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Last time I was there, I ran into good friends and neighbors. And there's also a costume party and Halloween party at the Hideout Saloon, uh, the Haunted Halloween at the Hideout. At the Hideout. Oh, that should be fun. <laughs> With DJ Dark Sloth playing electronica, dubstep, and trance. Dubstep. Uh huh. I have to figure that out. <laughs> <laughs> so there are a lot of things going on on Halloween. I don't know how many of these places we're going to hit with the in laws before they burn out. <laughs> Depends on how much uh, libation you're treating them to. Yes, and then, of course, you know, they'll have some serious jet lag going on oh, also. Oh, so. that's true. Mm -hmm. Coming from, oh, yeah. <laughs> November 1st, fun things are coming up. 2 p.m., Free Winter Wellness Seminar Fellowship Hall of the Seven-Day Adventist Church, 4994 11th Street, led by RN Karen Ward. I thought, how neat is that? And there's That's going to be food nice. and refreshments, and it's all about how to take care of ourselves care and of good yourself. health. And so that's fantastic. That's a great way to start the, the November month. November 2nd, Tuesday, that is, of course, always... Oh, no, wait a minute, that's Monday, right? November 2nd. Yes. Um, that is when the Mariposa Symphony Orchestra rehearses at oh. 7 p.m. and the Mariposa Community Chorus at 6.30 p.m. And uh, then uh, on the 3rd, I just found out the Yosemite Ale Works is having a game night. Oh. And they said oh. something about some mysterious card game. And I said, what is that card uh -oh. game? And they said, oh, you should Google it. <laughs> <laughs> but they did say it was 18 and over. So. Yeah, I, I think <laughs> I know the game. <laughs> <laughs> they said it's quite fun. <laughs> it, it is a lot of fun if it's what I'm thinking of. Yeah, 18 and over is a good thing. Mm -hmm. So it, that's from 5.30 to 9 p.m. at the Ale Works on Tuesday the 3rd. And then every first and third Tuesday of the month, there are Latin dance classes at the Mariposa oh, right. Academy of Performing Arts. That's right. Very neat, where you learn actual steps, uh -huh. you know, and, and uh, uh, the guy, he knows all these fancy well, Latin dances. Oh, something I've always wanted to do. It's very, very fun. It's nice just to move around and to listen to the music, you know, and he plays different uh, like salsa music and even German polka because oh. it's a lot of the same kind of steps. And do you polka? Some. I have tried to polka. I can't seem to get with that. <laughs> I, I, I think it's so much fun and you have to understand I really like to dance. Like I am crazy about dancing. See, you got to come to this I Latin dance class because it's polka out. super fun. And we did polka the last time I went. So oh. that's every first and third Tuesday of the month from 6 to 8. Of course, on a Tuesday, every Tuesday night, we also have the uh, Buczek Stompers doing line oh. dancing and square dancing. Oh. So unfortunately, the um, Latin dances uh, clashes with the Buczek Stompers. Oh. But the teacher of the Latin dance class, he said, well, you can still go to the Latin dance class twice a month and still do the Buczek Stompers twice well, a month. Well, that's so true. Th so that still works Nothing out. Nothing with having a well-rounded and then yes. next Wednesday, no farmer's market. No farmer's market. No, f You know, it's it's okay, folks. I love having you there, and I hope that you are back next <laughs> year. May, June is when we will start up. But uh, I need a little break. <laughs> I need a break. It's okay. 
It's pretty fantastic. It'll be missed. Thank you. Thank you. And then there is Art from the Park, an art reception at the Yosemite Art Center. Now, I was actually trying to find out where the Yosemite Art Center is and did not find out any information about that and was wondering if that was maybe in the park. You know, as, as you're saying this that I'm thinking about it, I, I do believe it is in the park, isn't it? near the uh, visitor center? You know, that, that's, I think you're right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So they were soliciting entries uh, by artists that, you know, like to do art oh, in the park. So this wonderful. is all art from the park. Park, from uh -huh. those people that you pass on the trail who are and sketching. The plain and the plein air painters who are yes, out there. Isn't that wonderful? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I have a son who's quite a painter, and he has gone up and done that type of thing before as well. So that would be wonderful. I would love to attend that. That sounds great. That does sound good. Now, um, you had mentioned something earlier that on Saturday there is a little Special Olympics thing going on. There Can you share is. with us there about that? There is a small uh, Special Olympics event coming on in Mariposa. We will have people from uh, Merced, I believe, Modesto, and our Mariposa, and we're the Mariposa Miners. Mm -hmm. And it will be happening at the park here in town, at the town park. The regional park? Uh, yes, mm -hmm. yes. Uh, oh, not nice. Yosemite, but the Mariposa Town Park. Um, yeah, and so they're going to be doing bocce and That's so much a little fun. luncheon. So, you know, go up and, and cheer on your own hometown Special Olympics team. They're that absolutely sounds great. wonderful. What time does that start? I'm thinking it's 10 o'clock in the morning. Mm -hmm. um, you know what? If I find I'm wrong, I'll Facebook it and let people know. But Do the, does Mariposa Special Olympics have a Facebook page? You know, that's a very good question. I don't mm -hmm. believe we do. And a website, possibly? No. Um, however, I am taking over uh, doing their promoting. And so probably come January, you're still going to start hearing a Excellent. lot more about that. We're hoping to do a tip -a cop event mm -hmm. uh, because in May, June, we have the regional event that's going to happen here in Mariposa. Mm -hmm. So that's a big talk deal. to me later about that and we'll fill you in. I would love to actually because I think a lot of people are not aware. I wasn't aware until I talked to you that there was a Mariposa Special Olympics team. You know, that's, team. that's interesting. We have been here for about 15 years. Really? Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. We have... Uh, and we, there were some winners recently oh, also. Oh, you know, our, our guys. Some medal winners. Medal winners. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, we walk away with silver and gold medals. Incredible. We have taken part in events uh, in Fresno and Madeira, Modesto, Merced, Stockton, Sacramento. Wow. Um, Stockton, we used to always go to Stockton to, what is it, University? University is it uni not University of Pacific? That may be wrong. Don't. Anyway, uh, and we participate in events all over. We mm -hmm. do bocce and basketball. Uh, track and field seem to be our big things. We would love to do swimming, but we really don't have a place in Mariposa to practice yeah. swimming. Mm -hmm. We have a lot of people who ask. Mm -hmm. And possibly we've talked about doing an equestrian event. So oh, we're fun. looking towards that as well. Definitely something worthy of everyone's support. Absolutely. It's absolutely. a really beautiful thing that we it, even it have is, that. It is a wonderful event mm -hmm. to do. People should come out and take a look. Thank you so much. Talk to him. Thank I'm glad you. you mentioned that because I hadn't heard about it. So oh. I was like, no, that needs to go on the calendar. Well, uh, <laughs> you know, as we all know, I can talk. So uh, I'm going to be out talking and asking Good. people for donations and uh, you know, letting everybody know what Special Olympics is doing. So Nice. Thank you for doing that. I Thank appreciate that. Thank you so that. much, Sabine. I appreciate it. Mm -hmm. Thank you. So I think we pretty much covered everything. Um, if you have any questions about any of these events, you can feel free and email me at mariposahappenings at gmail.com. We also have a Facebook page, which is a group that you can join called Mariposa Events. And Mariposa Events is also on Twitter under at events for the numeral for Mariposa. And we also have a Google Plus page where we post a lot of events and links and videos and all sorts of things. Photos, videos of events, you name it, we, we post talk it. about stuff I have no clue. Google Plus, <laughs> I have no idea. So we'll have to talk about that. You can tell me I would it. like that very much. Thank you. So I think that's about everything. I'm so grateful you came on the show Thank with me so today. Much. You look wonderful, Thank you for stunning. <laughs> it's always fun to dress up. It's always fun doing the show with you, Marina. Oh, thank you, I appreciate Sabine. I have a great so time here. 
Thank and you. the farmer's market. And the <laughs> farmer's market, yeah. Going to have people down there waiting for me, so I'm going to have to run here shortly. So come on up to Mariposa and celebrate with us on Halloween. We probably won't recognize each other with costumes <laughs> on. <laughs> and join us again next week. There are many things on the radar for our next weekend. And, uh, and that's about it for Sabina Jordan Lott and Marina Fisher. And thank you for watching us today. Thank you. Goodbye.